Hey there, how you doing? All right. Yeah, a uh, bit of a catch up. I have got to put a video out there uh, for some indoor flying. I did put it up briefly, uh, but the, um, the video quality was compressed. So I need to get it on the computer and edit it a bit better, to be honest. Um, it come out really bad, poor quality. So I had to remove it. Uh, so hopefully I'll get that up. Um, obviously, that was covering the indoor flying <coughs> first flight on the MX2 Toxic and uh, also first flight with the um, Free Sky uh, X20. Um, so, first one of the uh, build series for this uh, winter is um, the new one. Uh, it's just arrived today. It's been stuck in customs for uh, two weeks. Um, I've got a lovely letter from them um obviously the guy that sent it out um i've got him list down um jeremy andre uh french guy lovely guy uh excellent to deal with uh fantastic um i placed the order with him on the 16th of july so he's a, a one-man guy builds everything himself does kits it up himself does everything all the way down to the packing box makes the packing boxes and sends them out he's been absolutely phenomenal good old boy absolutely amazing quick to message you back um on facebook messenger um there is a group i'll put that in the description uh facebook group um and i'll put that in the description um everyone that's ordered the kits got theirs build build things on there he's also done a full live video i'll put that on uh on the description down as well um he's done a full live video of building one so from start to finish so if uh, anyone's obviously interested in getting one of these the video is the must to guide to really um he's done a full live video on there so there's the uh, hours if you obviously i'll put a link to him and he if you go on to his videos and you'll see them all on there so that's what i'll be following to build it um but yeah um i'll show you we'll get it out so this is the first look for me i've literally just cut open the box um so we'll flip you around and show you what's uh what's new right here we are um like i say he built he's made the box he makes everything um so it's top um, so here we go. This is it. I look at that. It's a uh, composite fuselage he's made, and then obviously it's a laser cut part. So it's a built up wing and a built up rudder and tail section. So this is the the full kit, and um, this is obviously how it's come to me. Um, really proper glued in there. <laughs> Uh, so obviously, I can't fault him on that. This this ain't moving at all. This is a little bit, but we're looking all right so far. Oh, I think that's come. Oh, that one, that bit's come adrift. So we can't fault. It's come from France. Um, like I say, it's been stuck in customs for um, two weeks. Which obviously I got a VAT charge on that. Um, to come in so it's a bit disappointing but it is what well, it is the joys of leaving brexit uh, i suppose leaving europe um so he also asked me let's see what let's let's get some of this stuff out right, let me pause it here let me pull this out and then um we can catch it <clears throat> right managed to uh, get them wrapped out of the bubble wrap and uh the color is amazing um absolutely amazing like that like a carbon type of uh, canopy. Look how thin and skinny it is. Look at that. That's phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. I love the colour. I don't know if it's coming over on camera. It's quite a bright yellow, neon yellow uh, type of colour. It uh, looks amazing. Oh, the name of this kit is, um, from what the research I've done, is called a um, we would like to say Kerry Kerry basically comes from a Japanese flatfish, um, which obviously uh, translate to uh, flounder or flounder um, uh, English flatfish. Basically, obviously, a lot of these uh, VTPR um, type of gliders are come sort of from a fish like the uh, ahi. Which is obviously a, um, 
It's an Hawaiian flatfish, that one, with a similar type of thin fuselage section. Um, but yeah, um, it's just oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, lovely um, little accessory pack in there, pull pull rudder, um, the linkages, pieces of carbon and everything in there. Um, he also did me he, uh, colour graphics, uh, which whatever I asked for colour wise, which he's done me. Um, which is nice, with the blue and yellow scheme going on, as you guys know, obviously if you follow me. Um, so he's done me the cool, the graphic set. These are for the wing tips, wing end tips and stuff. Um, you get obviously a plan as well. Let's pull the plan out, let's have a quick look at this. Let's have a look at the plan. Oh yes. It's just phenomenal. Um, really, really good. Laser, laser cut parts in here. It's got these loose ones here. Let's pull these ones out and have a look at these. Let's just have a look at the. Look at that. Really, really good. Uh, Labelled up, lovely. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Really looking forward to the build on this. Uh, let's quickly pause you there a sec. There we go. Um, <clears throat> there's the wing section there. Uh, the elevator section and then see there's the, the rudder there. Quite a substantial sort of size. Let's give you a little rough size of the rudder. You're looking about what are you looking at there? Nearly 400 mil uh, 40 centimeters on the rudder um, elevators you're looking at a good nearly 300 mil uh, 30 centimeter on the elevator section uh, obviously that's a all moving back tail uh, which you can slide in and out and then let's give you a quick uh, let's give you a quick wing wingspan there yeah 1200 1 1.2 uh, 1200 1.2 uh, 1.2 inch, just to get a light on it, it's starting to get dark here. Um, so yeah, the, obviously full size plan to build off, uh, all laser cut parts. Um, so the kit's, you know, it's been put back together really nice. We've got some, let's get some really nice quality parts in here for the accessory pack. Um, and you thought about everything here. Um, bits of carbon. So yeah, we're uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, he is yeah, absolutely brilliant. I can't fault the guy at all. It's been um, really, really well. Uh, a bit of a wait, but obviously he's got a waiting list. So if you place your order, obviously you've got to wait a bit. I think I waited about sixteen weeks. I think if he thinks it sort of works out to that. But they are made. Um, you know, whatever colour you ask him, he'll do the colour for you. Um, so he, obviously stock I think is white that's the majority of the ones that are white I've seen red ones uh, I've seen I think he's done a green one um, so yeah the, this this is absolutely lovely really really nice I love this color this color is is phenomenal um, let's just have a quick look in in here see what there we go just nothing in there but it's just the quality of it is it yeah it's phenomenal oh there we go look yes <laughs> phenomenal mate thank you thank you jeremy um you you've been you've been sound mate absolutely sound i've, I've you know you i can't fault you at all uh for you know really good business um and really nice to to deal with um, and even chased up the um to find out where it was obviously with the um being lost in UK customs for over a week or so, but obviously I think that was why it was processed. So, um, ended up a paying I think it was a hundred and thirty three pounds something uh, for VAT on the the product. Uh, so obviously it's made it a little bit more than um, you know sort of thing. But he sells the kits for five hundred euros um, for a whole kit um, on placing order. Obviously there's a simple form to fill out online. Um, 
on his web page um, he sent me the link to and then obviously fill the simple format saying what you would like and colours and stuff and just paid a 100 euro deposit and that gets you on the uh, starting list um, but obviously if there's anything there that you, you needed to know and ask him he, he's quite quick and responsive on uh, getting back to you um, with everything so I'll just sort of have a quick I'll pause it here and let's have you a quick 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 look through the, the parts there we go quick um, we've got through some carbon tubes there uh, some it's like hardwood leading edges or trailing edges I'd imagine um, and obviously all the parts laser cut out and printed out uh, there's a decent stack of bolster and ply there so yeah um, I'm really looking forward to this one um, it should be a good yeah good build good winter build to be honest um, yeah but yeah I can, I'll give you a, a bit of a, an update how far I've got and um, and that I'm not going to do a build thing on there because it's um, obviously he's more than covered that with his video builds and that but I'll give you an update how far I've got how I'm finding it um, but I can't see there being any issues uh, especially just I'll, I'll be I'm the laptop in here <laughs> I'll be just watching the videos on YouTube and doing it step by step like he's done it to be honest um, it was a lot easier than the other kit I had um, it was just too far complicated um, so but this with the, the fuselage um, yeah just the yellow look at that it's beautiful but yeah for cost wise and it yeah really nice i'm really looking forward to this one so hopefully um i'll get that other video sorted out and get that uploaded this one will go on probably before that because i still need to get that edited and sorted out um and then hopefully while we're building this we'll have maybe something else turn up um, definitely another one turning up but still no response on the third one so I think we'll we'll probably scrap that third one now and um, it'll get on the second so there'll be one more before Christmas hopefully my fingers crossed uh, so really thanks very much thanks for everything uh, safe flying and I'll see you on the next one cheers bye